Hello, welcome to Informatica Spincast. I am Devesh. I am going to explain the basics of file data stream. This will be in three parts. In this video, I will show how to install VDS on enterprise mode. And then in the second part of the video, I will show how to create VDS service and then how to design data flow using admin console then in the last part of this series i will show a demo on how to install vds node in multiple machine and then use that node in the data flow what is vds informatica wide data stream for machine data is a highly available distributed scalable real time application that collects and aggregates machine data. You can collect machine data from different types of sources, transform or process the data and write it to different types of targets. VDS consists of source services that collect data from sources and target services that write data to the targets. You can use VDS to collect data from different types of source such as event logs, real-time logs, call detail records, TCP UDP applications, syslog sources, HTTP sources, web socket sources, and MQTT brokers. Then you can stream data to different types of targets such as Hadoop, distributed file system cluster, and Apache. Uh, you can stream data to an Informatica power exchange for ultra messaging source to perform complex transformation and real time warehousing. You can also stream data to Informatica rule point source control to process complex events in real time so to install vds in enterprise mode you need to have a power center 961 sh2 installed so uh, any version uh, before hf2 961 hf2 is not supported in vds so be careful to choose the version 961 hf2 power center so once you have installed 961 power center hf2 we need to download vds installer and from there you can start install so let's see how we can do that so this is my home directory for 961 hf2 so i have installed 961 hf2 in this box and uh, this is my admin console so before you install vds you need to stop power center so for that we have to go to the tomcat bin and then we say in power service shutdown this is must you should shut down power center before you install vds now you can see uh, we have uh, shut down power center so we are good to go for installing vds so here i have we downloaded vds installer and unzip once you unzip vds installer you will see all this then run uh, install.sh just enter now you have to accept the terms and conditions so this is a fresh install so i'll say left one so in enterprise mode you have to go for custom my power center is uh, in, has been installed in non-secure mode, so I am selecting two. Yes, I need a Jupyter. Jupyter is to handle all the configuration of the VDS. So, if you have already a Jupyter running, then you can say no and give the Jupyter information, IP and port. But here I am going for another Jupyter. So I say yes. Then administration component. You should say yes. So I will select uh, uh, VDS components on an existing Informatica platform. So I'll say two because I have already uh, in power center 961 HF2 installed and I'm going to uh, enterprise mode. So VDS data stream node, I said yes. Then I have to mention the power center installation directory that is your power center home directory. So this is my power center Informatica home directory. So I get this and press enter and start system. Now 
then ask for LBMRD port. So I will keep with default that is 15280. Then it asks for HTTP server port. I will again it keep it uh, default that is 15381. Then it's uh, web monitor uh, port it asks that is I will give as 15385. And this is a multi host machine, so it will ask whatever interface it has in that machine. Then uh, you have to choose one of your outgoing interface, and you should never give the local host that is 127.0.0.1. And among the two, you need to select one of your outgoing interface. So, in this case, I'm selecting the second and zookeeper ipn port so ip of this machine is 10.75.53.191 and port i will give suppose uh, 15393 let's start configuring everything and once it's done all its configuration it will give you a install summary log so install summary log you can check in shared root informatica 961 and these are the your information about all your different component of rule points so it says administration demand success then it is lbmrd is running in this port and jukeeper ip port is this one then your HTTP server port is 15381, monitoring traffic port is 15385, and we have selected the network interface. So, then by VDS node installation is success, network interface is this. So, all this information you will get, and for later, uh, later on, if you want to access this information, you can just refer to root informatica VDS log. So, you can press enter. So now you can, if you want, you can open this. You can see exit code zero everywhere. All the exit code has to be zero, and so installation is successful. So now, once installation is done, we will go to the home directory of Power Center. So here you will see few fold, new folder like Jukeeper, then admin, admin D, and Node. So this three new folder you will see inside your power center home directory. So now I can go to in power service. I can start my admin D. If the admin D1 which admin control of a video service will connect. So inside that is a bin directory. Then I'll say admin D dot SS start. Started the zookeeper, then it started the LBMRD, then it started the admin D. So now I have to go to Tomcat bin, then I will start in for service. Then you can start it. So it's starting now. So you can observe here when we started admin D, it started Jukeeper, LBMRG, and admin daemon. And node is like it depends upon our design. So when once you, sh the best practice I follow like I first design my uh, data flow and as per my source and target, I create node. So node you can start later. So in our videos where we see some sample data flow there and show how to start node and then deploy any data flow on a specific node. Once your info services is off, you will see your admin console, then log into your admin console. Once you log in in the service list, you will see a new service called Wide Data Stream Service. So you have to create a new service using uh, this console and you have to provide all this information so this will will cover in our upcoming video on how to create vds service using admin console and then i will show some demo on uh, how to design data flow and uh, how to deploy the data flow on specific nodes 
in a single post system. So in our uh, third part of this video, we will see how to use standalone node and multiple machines and use those nodes to deploy our Vista flow. So thanks for listening. Hope you like this video and it was useful for you. See you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.